Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to create legend patches for you. Hello guys. In this video I will show you how to create legend patches for your print layouts in QGIS. Legend patches are abstract representations of the features in your map. It's a different level of abstraction that basically requires you to assign different shapes for a collection of features that share common characteristics. For instance, water bodies. Water bodies are different depending on the kind. They are natural or artificial. Would you represent a lake or a lagoon in the same way as you represent a pool or a pond? Maybe not. Maybe a lake or a lagoon is curvier than a pool or a pond. So legend patches are precisely for that. Regardless the color of the style that you are assigning to the layer, probably you want to represent in the legend item of your print layout a different shape depending on the kind of feature that you are representing. So to create patches is very straightforward. In this occasion, I will show you how to create a polygon legend patch, but the same method applies for a line legend patch. So without further ado, uh, let's, let's start. If you already have a symbol in mind, the best way to start doing it is either drawing it on a piece of paper and scan it or digitize it directly on the computer, or you can use a photo in any format recognized by QGIS. In this case, I will create a legend patch for figurines using the silhouette of a figurine found in Chametla, Sinaloa, Mexico. So, the first step is to configure the image you want to use. This image, for example, is massive for a legend patch. If yours is similar, you have to scale it to no more than 100 pixels high or wide. Save it and we will use it later. Now let's open QGIS. The first thing you want to do is to set up a new project with projected coordinates because you want to create a legend patch using meters or feet, but no degrees. This is irrelevant for the patch itself, but imagine how much is 100 degrees, which is the size of your image in pixels. In this case, I will pick WGS84 Pseudo Mercator or EPSG3857. Once you do that, you need to zoom your project right into the origin of this coordinate system, where the coordinates 0, 0 are. The easiest way to do that is by writing 0, 0 in the coordinate sections of the QGIS statebar and click enter. Adjust the scale or zoom if necessary. Now, if you are good at drawing and have a digital pen, you can just draw here whatever you want as long as it is in or around the coordinate 0, 0, and preferably using positive coordinates and less than 100 map units, feet or meters. In my case, I'm going to use the image that I transform in GIMP, so I'm going to add it to this project. Most images in a GIS program have positive coordinates in the x-axis, but negative in the y-axis. Now, let's add a new temporal vector layer of the type of geometry you want for your patch. In this case, I want to create a polygon. I just need this layer to draw a polygon, but I won't use the file in the future. So there is no need for any extra field. Anyway, just draw the image as a normal polygon following its edges. And to create the space between the arms and body, Let's change the transparency of the image so we can see exactly where are the gaps. And then let's create some polygon rings using the advanced digitizing toolbar. Once you've finished, save your changes. Now select your polygon and using the basic digitizing toolbar, select the move tool Click on your polygon and move it right on top of your image in the left hand side. This will allow you to have positive coordinates for your patch.
Finally, select your polygon if it's not already selected and go to the edit menu and then select copy features. This will copy the coordinates of each vertex that constitutes your polygon in a well-known text format or WKT. Now go to the settings menu and then style manager. In this window, go below the box with all the tabs and click on the plus button to add a new item and then select fill legend patch shape. You will see some well-known text coordinates representing a rectangle. Delete them and paste the coordinates of your newly created polygon. At first, you won't be able to see anything, but you need to delete the first bit of information that you pasted it. Just right before polygon or multi-polygon, all line or multi-line. This will depend on the kind of legend patch you created and its complexity. Once you remove this, click on save legend patch shape, assign the name and a tag. If you want to add this patch to a new tag, you just can type the name of the new tag here and it will be created. If you want to see it without closing this window, search for it either by typing its name or selecting the tag where you added it. To use these patches, you have to create a new print layout and add a legend item. Let's suppose that I want to change the shape of this item. So go to item properties, legend items, and then double click in the icon you would like to change. In the patch section, you will see the shape of the patch used for your symbology. Click on the symbol and a window similar to the one you saw when you added the new patch will appear. Search for your newly created legend patch, select it, and you will notice the changes immediately. Probably you want to tweak all your patches a little bit. As you can see, this small detail will improve the quality of your map by making it more attractive. And that's it, basically. Like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.